Your brain is language AI. Actually, it is so much better than language AI. It is literally the most advanced language processing unit on the planet in 2023. If you've played around with ChatGPT or any other language AI where you have to write a prompt, you know that there's like a learning curve to writing this prompt. And that just means it takes some time to learn how to write the prompt that gets you the output that you want. So with language learning, the way that we have been doing this for a very long time, it's kind of like we're using this super advanced, like next level chat GPT, and we're writing shitty prompts. Like we are giving the wrong input. And the way that we're giving the wrong input is that we're focusing on grammar rules, reading, writing, before we speak and just generally not putting enough emphasis on listening and speaking. Do you know that there are eight pages typed of grammar rules about when you should use a noun versus when you should use the noun versus when you should just use noun? Eight pages. There's no way that you're going to read that, study it, memorize it, and then be able to actually use it in your conversation. So even for like the nerdiest students, like I'm straight A, I love to study these students. Okay, you can force yourself to memorize all of those rules, but it's still not going to translate into conversation. It's not just because it's boring. It's because you know that you are wasting your time. When you do all of this stuff, when you read all of this information, you get the sense when you can't actually use it in conversation, you're like, why am I doing all this? My English isn't getting better. So the reason that we've been failing so hard for so long at teaching and learning languages is that we have been focusing on rules rather than meaningful input. And this is no longer a controversial idea. That's not where I want you to put your focus. I want you to put your focus on meaningful input. So the same way that you would if you were prompting an AI system, if it's not putting out what you want it to put out, you need to change the way that you're prompting it. You're gonna change your inputs. Listening to native speakers, talking to native speakers, and learning phrases in context. It's kind of hard to do that, right? Like as a student, because it's hard for you to know what the meaningful input is, what the practical input is. So this is where your teachers and your language partners are going to come in. As a native speaker and as a teacher, I can come up with that practical input. So anyway, if you're uncomfortable about not learning grammar, don't worry, calm down. I will go over in this channel, I will always go over the rule very briefly in the beginning. And then we will very quickly shift our focus to do something effective. And you actually already know all of this. You know traditional language learning doesn't work because why are you on YouTube right now? Why are you not sitting in a traditional classroom? Why are you not reading the grammar books that you have? I know you have a stack of grammar books because listening and speaking is how our brain is already programmed to learn the language. The point is that we need to take advantage of this powerful language processing model by using it the way that it's designed. You can even apply this idea of meaningful input or practical input to learn specific grammar points that you want to learn. You can learn articles by using sample data just like you would train an AI, right? Sample data is example sentences, it's example phrases and it's gonna be easier, and it's actually gonna be more effective because your brain is going to do a lot of that processing and categorization for you. So from now on, we're just gonna be a little bit smarter about the way that we learn language. We're gonna change the inputs, and we're gonna start training our brain on sample data, real language. We're gonna focus on the real speech of native speakers and meaningful input. And that's what this channel is about. So welcome.